Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something different that I have not done before on my channel. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I put in my clipping extensions. This video is sponsored by Curls Queen. They sent me over some of their clip-ins. And when I say these are the best clip-ins I've ever had, I mean it. I used to wear clip-ins back in like high school, like years ago when I was like 13, 14, 15. I used to wear clip-ins. At the time I thought they were good. They were like clip-ins from the beauty supply store, like the really silky ones did not match my hair texture at all. But these from Curls Queen match my hair perfectly. I'm gonna tell you guys why they match my hair so perfectly. Girls Queens, they specialize in clip-ins for textured hair basically. They have clip-ins that range from 3B to 4C. They also have straight light yakky, straight coarse yakky, and straight coarse kinky. I have the straight light yakky clip-ins because they're more so for a silk press look. Straight coarse yakky is like in between a blowout and a silk press it's more of a it's not super straight and you have straight coarse kinky which is like the blowout look like if you don't like to press your hair at all it gives you like that blowout look it comes in like it comes in like a little dust bag type thing and whenever you open it up i already um took mine out because i actually filmed this video once before and i did not like the quality of it so i was like let me just redo it so this is all of the clip-ins. This is like the whole thing. I actually did put black semi-permanent dye on these when I got them just to make sure that they match my hair perfectly because my hair is freshly dyed black, if you can tell. So I wanted to make sure that they match super perfectly. But they already looked pretty dark when I got them, so I don't know if they come black, but I just put extra dye on them just in case. This is all of the clips, super thick, super full. Um, I'm kind of holding them wrong, so they look like they're not even. But I'm going to just show you guys all the clips that it comes with. You only need one bundle of these. Like, I promise you, you only need one bundle. I was a little skeptical when I got them. I mean, even though they look, even though they were thick when I got them and they felt really thick, I was just skeptical. I'm like, are you sure one bundle is going to work? Because whenever I used to buy my clippings, I used to get two. But that's probably because they were like super silky and they were thin. You're going to get four of the two clip webs. Can you guys see the clips? They also do send you um, some extra clips just in case they come off and like a little thing of hair thread, but I don't have it. I don't know where I put it, but this is the two clip weft. 20 inches is as long as you can get. You get two three clip wefts, two five clip wefts, and then you get two four clip wefts. All in all, you get 10 pieces of your clipping extensions. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I install them regularly. Like if I'm just clipping them in, no hairstyle. And then I'm gonna show you guys three of my favorite styles to wear with my clipping extensions. So to put them in, I'm gonna talk you guys through it. But whenever I'm doing the actual hairstyles, it's just gonna be like a little voiceover telling you guys how I do it. That way this video isn't too long because I'm kind of in a rush. I have to go in like 20 minutes. I'm not here in a ponytail right now, so. And disclaimer, if you guys see hair under, if you guys see hair under my arm, ignore it. We all have hair, okay? So just ignore it. So I'm taking my hair down. My hair is not freshly washed. I washed it like two, three days ago. I mean, I guess you can consider that freshly washed. The first time I did this video, I didn't want to put anything in my hair, so my edges looked a mess. And I don't really like to do my edges. I like for them to be free, but I was just like, uh-uh. Y'all are not about to talk about me. And my edge is looking raggedy. Well, they weren't raggedy. They just looked really untamed. I didn't straighten them either because I've been putting, I was putting a lot of heat on my edges and I'm not going to even lie, I broke my edges off a little bit. I won't even lie, I did. But yeah, I'll talk more about that whenever I do my updated silk press routine. That is coming very soon. Um, I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm going to do it before I braid my hair back up. So I'm not even going to show you guys the length of my hair yet, like from the back because I'll show you guys that in my silk press routine. I start with the middle part. It's not straight at all. I don't like my little part to be perfectly straight anyways. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna start we're gonna start from the bottom. So just take a small tiny section at the back, like the small section. And I'm so happy the back of my hair is growing. If you guys know, if you guys watch my silk press routines, you know that um I had shaved the back of my hair off 
because it was breaking off and I was just like, I would rather just shave it off so it can all grow back the same length and grow back faster instead of keep breaking because I had damaged it so much because um, of my wig caps actually, they're, they're like so tight sometimes, like little stocking cap, I mean, they can be a little tight sometimes and this is when I first started wearing wigs. I didn't know that it was too tight and breaking off the back of my hair. I have like this little small tiny section in the back just to start with so it's not like too obvious that they're clip-ins. I don't want to do too much. So can you guys see that? Just a small section. I'm going to start with the three clip wefts. So I did cut these a little bit so I have to make sure the one that's just the shortest one on the bottom. Okay. So just unclip it. And I don't like to put it right at the root because it hurts my hair. And I don't put it tight so I literally just like let me see if I can get in a position to show you guys what I'm doing. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. But I literally just take it and I push down and kind of like pull it kind of loose so that it's not stiff and it moves. Because whenever it's stiff, it hurts my hair and I have like a really tender scalp. So I don't like for it to be tight on my scalp. So mine are pretty loose, but they're, they're stuck. Like they're not gonna come out unless you pull them really hard. That's the first piece. You can see it blends pretty well. Blends pretty well. Okay, let's do the next piece. The next one is gonna be the, oh, that hurt. The next one is going to be the same um, weft, three clip weft. And I do small sections in between because if you do super thick sections, you're definitely gonna see that hair coming through. I feel like that may be too much. That's too much. And I don't like for my clips to even to be too close to the top of my hair whenever I'm done because sometimes they'll like peek through. So I don't really care about doing small sections. And do the same thing you did with the first one. Next one is going to be the longest. So the five clip webs that we're gonna do next. I'm gonna show you guys how I do those to make sure the sides of my hair are blending well. So once again, another thin section, thin layer. That's a little thick. You have to be really particular with your clippings if you want them to look as natural as possible. With my five clip webs, they're like, I don't put them in just like directly in the back, if that makes sense. What I do is, um, it doesn't matter what side you do it on first, but I like to take it and start it over pretty far, like right above my ear, so that it's blending that hair that's left right here. And then I just clip it in. And of course, it's not gonna reach all the way to the other side. Like, you see, it's not gonna reach all the way right there like this one does, but that's okay because with the next one, you're gonna do that. You're gonna start on this side so that it reaches, so that that hair close to your right ear or left ear, whichever side you start on, is covered up. Take this one and start right there. And I don't really like for it to come too close to the front of my hairline because sometimes I like to put my hair behind my ears and stuff. And I don't want the webs to show, the clips. A little too tight now. Like I have to be really careful with these things because like they hurt. They'll hurt my head if I put them too tight. So like I definitely, whenever I was in high school, I used to sleep in these things. Like now that I have them now, I'm like, how was I even sleeping with these in my head? Because I can barely lay down on these if they're too tight. Like my scalp is just that tender. Now we're going on to our four clip webs. And you see, I still have like a good amount of hair left, which is okay. It's okay because like I said, I don't like for it to be too close to the top because one, the top of my head is like super sensitive, like super sensitive. So I don't really like to put them up too high. And also, um, I don't like, I don't want the, the webs to show at the top. Let me put just a little bit more. The same thing I did with the Five clip webs, starting a little bit over. And then just clip it. Just to make sure that those fronts are blended. You really want to, well the sides, you really want to make sure those sides are blended because that's like the dead giveaway area for like your clip-ins. 
my hair is getting pretty long so I'm not really too worried about the hair at the top showing because it'll just kind of look like I have layers in my hair since my hair isn't that short. because I have gotten my brush stuck in these things while brushing and it hurts because my scalp is just super tender. So you see this is why we need those two clip webs to blend this little area. And so I'm just going to start about right here. Okay guys, so that's how I clip them in just like regularly straight middle part. Um, if you wanted to, you could like go through and straighten it a little bit, but I'm not going to put any more heat on my hair because I feel like I put enough heat on my hair. I haven't really been straight. I haven't really been straightening it a lot, but I just don't feel the need to put any heat on my hair because I feel like it just blends so perfectly. So let me brush it all the way through. So this is what it looks like. It just looks really nice. Like it doesn't look like it looks like it looks like it's my hair. Honestly, like it looks like it's my hair with just a couple of layers in it. Like I love these clip-ins. I will never ever ever go back to like those super silky clip-ins. Even though I like my hair to be super straight, these are like what my hair would look like if it was this length and straightened. Um, um obviously my hair is a little bit thinner than this, but this is just like so pretty and so natural looking. Let me just give you guys a little back view what it looks like in the back. I don't know if you can see my wefts or not, but this is what it looks like from the back. It's just so pretty to me and I like how my hair is kind of like showing right here because it just gives it like the look like I have layers, like a layered cut. And I would love to see how this looks curled, but I don't know, my natural hair just does not work well with the curling iron for some reason, like it gets super frizzy. What we're gonna do is, like I said in the beginning, we're just gonna go through and I'm gonna do a voiceover for the rest of this video for the styling parts. So let's just go ahead and get to the styling section of this video. All right guys, so this first style, I'm just gonna be doing a low ponytail slash bun with the two pieces in the front. Um, you don't really have to move around any clips, so this one is really simple. If you place your clips right, you shouldn't see them sticking out whenever you slick your hair back behind your ears. So, like I said, this one's really simple. No maneuvering of clips. Go, 
Okay, so for this half up half down hairstyle, I'm going to be removing all four of those two clip webs. And I'm just going to be slicking my hair back first to see um, how I like it. And then once I have my hair slicked back or like how I want it to look, I'm going to divide this into a section and then put one of the two web clips in facing the facing backwards. I believe I'm saying that right. You'll see how I face it right here. So I'm just going to do that with only two of the clips. I'm not going to use all four because I didn't need the ponytail to be that thick. So I just do that with two clips and then I'm going to tie it with the ponytail holder and then that's it for that hairstyle. You don't really have to move any of the other clips around if, you, if they're not showing. Um, mine was showing a little bit on the side but it didn't really bother me. You could like barely see it so I just left it alone. But that is the second hairstyle. <laughs> Okay, and so for the last hairstyle, you don't have to move any more clips. You can leave those clips out if you want to. I mean, you can leave them in if you want to, or you can take them out. I originally left them in, but then I realized after I had tied the ponytail that it was kind of lumpy at the top. So I did go in and remove those two wefts from my hair. And I'm just doing a low ponytail. This is my favorite hairstyle to wear. Like, even when I have my natural hair out, like, no clip-ins. I just love to do, like, slick back buns or slick back ponytails. I love it so this will probably be my most worn style out of all of them if I wasn't just wearing it down the middle part but yes that's all for the hairstyles you guys are really simple um, it's really easy to work with clip-ins once you get the, once you get the hang of it so yeah I've been watching you. <laughs> enjoyed watching me put in my clip-ins showing you guys how I um, apply them and how I would style them if I were to wear them in hairstyles I really do love I really do love these clip-ins like I've been wearing them even after I filmed the video the first time I've still been wearing them because they just look so pretty like they just make me enjoy wearing my natural hair out even more like I can't wait for my natural hair to just reach this length like this is just like the perfect length for me like it stops like right under my boobs perfect length so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to check out Curls Queen. I'm gonna have all of the hair details in the description box below. I honestly, honestly, like honestly love these clippings. Best clippings I've ever tried. I did try some from a brand a couple months ago. They sent me in. They just did not, they weren't full, they were thin towards the ends. They this, this is it. This is where if you have textured hair, get these clip-ins. I swear to you, like when you want to take a break from wigs, if you want to just like have your natural hair out, be able to take these out at night, get clip-ins from Curls Queen. So thank you guys so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.